Friends of mine, a couple, have three little boys. And they were going to take them to Valley Fair. This is some years ago. And the youngest, his name is Bodhi, he was all excited. He said, this is going to be the best day ever. Well, the morning of the big day to go to Valley Fair, one of his older brothers woke up sick. So they had to cancel their trip. And then Bodhi was moping around the house saying, this is the worst day ever. Well, later on during that day, he was accompanying his dad and they found a mouse dead in a mouse trap. And Bodhi says, oh, I guess that mouse is having a worser day than I am. We probably all have had what would be considered the worst day ever. Perhaps some of you are having that right now, especially because of the COVID-19. Perhaps you are sick, or maybe you know someone is sick, or maybe you're just feeling the pressures of this whole time and what we're doing and not doing. That's why the cross becomes an important symbol for us. Not just today on Good Friday, but every day. If you can, I would like you at this time to have a cross in front of you. Perhaps there's a cross on the wall that you can see. If not, what I'd like you to do is to go get a cross and have it before you. And if there's many of you watching this, maybe each of you could get a cross. Why don't you pause this and go get your cross with that cross before you. We recognize the power of what we are called to be. The cross is not meant to be just a, a piece of decoration on a wall or a piece of jewelry that we wear. It's a reminder that we suffer. It's a reminder that we all suffer. It's a reminder that, indeed, this whole world is suffering. For a moment now, I want you to picture your personal wound or wounds. Perhaps even close your eyes. Name that secret sorrow or that burden or that loss. Think of that aching need for healing that you have right now. Maybe it's a personality flaw. We all have one. St. Paul did and writes about it in 2 Corinthians. Perhaps it's what's keeping you up at night, makes you toss and turn. It could be that deep, doubt you carry, that unanswered prayer or heaviness in your heart. Whatever it is, imagine that Jesus has placed that thing or those things into his heart. And then he stretches out his arms to allow himself to be nailed onto that cross before you. It's as if God were saying, I know this is what you are experiencing, this pain. Don't run from it. Learn from it as I did. Hang there for a while, as I did. It will be your teacher. Rather than losing life, you will be gaining a larger life. It is the way through. Now, I want you to think of the pain of others those close to you, pain that they are carrying, their wounds, their struggles, 
their fears. Now, think of those you don't know, but have heard about. Those who carry the COVID-19 virus. Those who are currently dying from it. those who are trying their best to assist them, to help them, to cure them. A young Jewish woman who died in Auschwitz, her name is Eddie Ellison. She truly believed her suffering was also the suffering of God. She wrote, I am not alone in my tiredness or sickness or fears, but at one with millions of others from many centuries, and it is all part of life. Carl Jung wrote, the whole world is God's suffering. Every act of human suffering is a participation in the eternal crucifixion of the one Christ. There is only one suffering, as it were, and we are all participants.